And we have breaking news, an update on the standoff in Queens where a man was sitting up in the tree for the past three days. The man is now out of the tree, but he's still not in police custody. CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan is live in Brookville. Jennifer, what's going on now? Dick and Christine, since we were last with you, ESU police pulled off of the street, not entirely, but enough to reopen 245th Avenue. And right now, that was enough to bring Rudy Thomas out of the tree. He first went onto the roof of his home. A pastor named Pastor Fuller from the community went in to reassure him that he was not going to be hurt in any way by the police and that they just cared about his mental health. He so far is standing on the front porch of his home and saying that he will agree to get in an orange van that is parked in front of the of the house and go into a local psychiatric center. Police say only then will it be determined if he's going to be charged with harassing his mother and punching his girlfriend one month ago. He also has three prior sealed arrests waiting to be processed. He's a troubled soul, say his friends and neighbors. They say he's harmless, and police disagree about that. But he's sort of holding court here right now in front of his home, and police say they will not pounce in any way, and they'll wait for him to gradually make his way into that orange van and be taken for psychological evaluation. All right, Jennifer, I just want to give our viewers um, some context here. We want to reiterate that these are live pictures that you're looking at coming out of Queens of a man that um, barricaded himself up in a tree for the past three days um, after police responded to the home of um, a domestic dispute. Um, we now have understanding that this domestic dispute involved um, this gentleman, the suspect, along with his mother. Um, as Jennifer mentioned, there is a long history of some mental illness. Neighbors have been rallying around this house and this man complaining that um, police were not handling the situation correctly um, and Jennifer what I'd like to ask you now is do we know at this time um, how this decision for the police to retreat um, came about we know that uh, mental health officers came in to speak to re local residents and they said that they know Rudy and that he would respond best when there are no police around him. He had been in Rikers Island in the past where he alleged police abuse and they said that that was a trigger to his mental health. If the police would agree to step back and roll out, he was up high in the tree when three or four huge ESU units with lights and the whole shebang pulled off the street, 245th Avenue, all of his neighbors came running down, Rudy, Rudy, we're here for you. He eventually came down off the tree onto his rooftop, ran around, now he's making steps down towards closer to, closer to our cameras and closer to hopefully the orange bus that will help him. And we'll be following this and bring you more at 6 o'clock. All right, Jennifer McLogan and Old Brookville, keep us updated and an update at 6 o'clock coming from Jennifer McLogan. Thank you.